Hi everyone, my name is Alex. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. Today, I'm going to be trying the Undefined R&R Sun Serum SPF 50. This product retails for $28. So I was actually recommended this product by someone in my comment section. Thank you so much for recommending this product. I looked through the ingredient list and this product has some amazing ingredients in it. It's also very interesting to me because it is a sun serum. I know personally myself, I like lightweight sunscreens and I've tried some sun serums and sun essences before and I've loved them in the past. I did do a spot test of this product and it feels very lightweight and it is tinted. So that is a huge deal for mineral sunscreens because a lot of times tinted sunscreens do cut back on a white cast. That really excites me because mineral sunscreens are more difficult, especially for people with darker skin. When you add a tint to it, it really balances out the white cast that comes with a typical zinc oxide sunscreen. So that makes me really excited to try out this product. This this product is vegan, cruelty free, fragrance free, alcohol free, silicone free, sulfate free, and comes in recyclable packaging. The highlighted sunscreen filter in this sunscreen is zinc oxide, which is a mineral filter. To check out the full ingredient list, make sure you click the link in the description to go to their website. This product is loaded with so many amazing ingredients. One of the big things that I'm looking for in this product is how heavy is the tint of this product? Sunscreen Sunscreens are really hard to balance. If you add a tint to a product, it could not work for everyone's skin type, but if you don't add a tint, it could not work for everyone's skin type. Like it's like a lose-lose situation sometimes. And so it's really good to find the balanced sunscreen that has a little bit of a tint to it to correct the white cast, but also not too much where it would be overpowering on someone who is pale or even really dark. I will be curious to see if this is blendable and what kind of finish it leaves on the skin as well. I know sometimes sunscreens can pill. I hope that doesn't happen with this product. And I also know that sometimes sunscreens can be either extremely mattifying or too hydrating. I typically prefer more of a hydrating sunscreen, but it just is all on the preference. I will be curious to see what type of finish it leaves. And the final thing I'm looking for is just to see if it causes any acne. I'm always looking for that with sunscreens and I get nervous when I branch out of my typical sunscreens. I will just be looking to see if it causes acne. As for anything else with this sunscreen, I will keep you all posted and let you all know how this trial is going. I will be continuing to do check-ins on this product, so I will see you all in the next check-in. Hi everyone, I'm here to give you all a quick check-in on this product and also use it on camera. So I am trying something just a little bit different in this video. I noticed that a lot of times whenever I am using the products and I have my ring light on, it really distorts how the sunscreen looks on my skin. I mean, it's still not gonna be 100% accurate, but natural light is usually better for showing this stuff. Today, I'm going to show you how the tint looks on my skin. I have actually been using it for a week the one big takeaway that I've noticed with this sunscreen is if you are very pale like me, it's really important that you blend the sunscreen. It's very easy for it to not be even on your skin because I'll just notice I'll have like a little tint area right here. It's like that with any sunscreen, but especially this type of sunscreen. I have noticed just a little bit of pilling. I have been letting my moisturizer sink in a little bit to my skin before I use it. Nothing too crazy. It was just a a couple of times out of the week that I've used it. So that is something just to take into consideration. I would let your moisturizer sink in a little bit longer before applying this sunscreen. It has an amazing feel to it. It is a more hydrating sunscreen. Only thing is the tint is just a little bit dramatic at first. It takes a little bit of blending to look a little more natural on the skin. I am a person who doesn't wear any makeup really. I just wear a skin tint from time to time. This product is a nice balancer to the skin if you do have warmer undertones, I feel like. This could be a little bit dark and a little too warm on people who are very pale or have a lot of cool undertones. I am neutral, so it kind of works okay on me, but that is just something to take into consideration. This packaging, gorgeous. Look how pretty this shade of blue is. I'm gonna go ahead and show you what it looks like. 
So there is the product. It is very liquidy, it's very lightweight, and you also don't really need very much of this product. It does spread very easily. I do the three, three finger technique. But there you can kind of see. So as you can see, it does blend in very well to the skin. On the viewfinder, I look like I have just a little bit of a tan. If you are very pale, this product may be a little bit too dark for you. I'm not exactly sure how this would perform on dark skin. I would be interested to see that. I will try to find other reviews of this product of people with different skin tones and leave them in the description of this video. It is very lightweight. It does feel very liquidy in texture and it just kind of absorbs right in the skin. The tint, just be a little bit more careful with it, especially if you are pale. I'm liking this product so far. The tint is not overpowering and it actually makes, it kind of evens out my skin. I, I, I really like how it looks on the viewfinder right now. So I've been liking it so far. I'm going to continue using it and then I will check in again. So I will see you all in the next check-in. Hi everyone. I'm back to give you all my final thoughts on this product. The more that I use this product, I hate to say the more that I fell out of love with this product. When I first started this trial, I was not doing a lot outside. I was spending a lot of time in the house and it wasn't until I spent some time outside that I got to see how this product truly performed. I am personally not a fan of the tint in this product for my skin type. I was outside one day for, I would say a couple of hours, and I don't know if it was because I was sweating, I don't know what happened, but the product had peeled up a lot on my cheeks right here. It looked like dirt on my skin. It did not look good. I wish I would have taken photos of it, but immediately when I saw it, I wiped it off. I was not really sure what it was, but then I remembered that this product had a tint in it and it did look like the product peeling up on my skin. The more as I went throughout the day, the more I would feel it pill, it would be really bad, especially around the sides of my face. It would pill a lot. I don't know if that's just something I experienced. I also waited a significant amount of time to apply this product after my moisturizer had sank in. So I personally just think the lightweight texture of this product, though it is great, did cause it to peel up just a little bit. With that being said, I am not ruling out this product for other skin tones that may struggle with a white cast. I do feel like if you struggle with a white cast and you're wanting to try a tinted sunscreen, this would be a decent option for you. Other than the pilling that I experienced, this product had a very nice feel to it. It was a little bit more of a hydrating sunscreen, which I personally prefer, but I don't know why the product peeled up right here on my cheek. It didn't peel up on my forehead or anything. It was just a bunch of the product right here, and I applied it normally that morning. I wasn't doing anything different. It seems like the product would peel more when I sweat. For that reason alone, I would be just a little bit more careful with recommending this product. I think that the people who are going to benefit the most from this product are people who struggle with a white cast from most mineral sunscreens. But if you're not someone who struggles with a white cast from most mineral sunscreens, I don't feel like this product is anything that you would need to go out of your way if you have a sunscreen already that you love. I did notice that it just wasn't really suitable for my skin tone as much, but not to say it wouldn't be suitable for other people's skin tones. But anyway, thank you all so much for watching this review. If you enjoyed it and you want to see more like this, make sure you subscribe because I post new videos every week and I will see you all in the next review.